मूविंग ऑन टू फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन शो दैट इफ डायग्नल्स ऑफ ए क्वारलेटरल और इक्वल एंड बाइसेक टीच अदर एट राइट एंगल्स देन इट इज ए स्क्वायर नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू सोल्यूशन लेटेस्ट नोट डाउन द गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन ही हेज गिवेन दैट डायग्नल्स ऑफ ए क्वारलेटरल और इक्वल एंड बाइसेक टीच अदर एट राइट एंगल्स सो लेटेस्ट कंसिडर ए क्वारलेटरल ए बी सी डी in which the diagonals bd and ac intersect at o and he says that bisect each other perpendicularly so all these angles will be 90 degrees so we can say aob is equal to angle boc is equal to angle cod is equal to angle doa is equal to 90 degrees and as the diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly we can say OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD and he also says that diagonals are equal so we can say AC is equal to BD now we are required to prove that given ABCD is a square now let us move on to the proof now in the proof let us consider the two triangles that is In triangle AOD and triangle AOB, angle AOD is equal to angle AOB is equal to 90 degrees. Since he has given that AC and BD bisect each other perpendicularly, and uh, OA will be the common side for both the triangles, so that will be equal in both the triangles. side ob will be equal to od since ac bisects bd at o ob will be equal to od so we can say here the two corresponding sides and an angle are equal in both the triangles therefore by sas property of congruency we can say triangle abod is congruent to triangle aob we know that when two triangles are congruent then their corresponding sides will be equal so here we can equate ab is equal to ad here we got ab is equal to ad let us name it as equation number 1 now let us consider the two triangles that is in triangle aob and triangle OBC angle AOB is equal to angle BOC which is equal to 90 degrees as i said that AC and BD bisect each other perpendicularly and OA will be equal to OC as BD is bisecting AC and uh, for both the triangles OB is the common side so here two sides and the corresponding here the two corresponding sides and an angle of the two triangles triangle abob and triangle boc are equal therefore by sas congruence rule we can say triangle abob is congruent to triangle boc and finally we can say from this when two triangles are congruent then their corresponding sides and corresponding angles will be equal so therefore here the corresponding sides ab will be equal to bc let us name it as equation number 2 then from equation 1 and 2 we get ab is equal to bc is equal to cd let us name it as equation number 3 similarly by considering triangle boc and triangle cod and getting the congruence and applying the concept that two congruence triangles have corresponding sides equal and angles equal we can say bc will be equal to cd so finally we can say that ab is equal to bc is equal to CD is equal to DA. Therefore, 
we got the first proof that all the sides are equal for the quadrilateral and diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly so we can say ABCD is a rhombus but if we consider in triangle AOD and triangle OAD now let us clearly note down the figure that ABCD is a rhombus with AB is equal to BC is equal to CD in which diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly at point O here he asked us to prove that ABCD is a square we proved that ABCD is a rhombus in order to prove that the rhombus is a square we need to prove that all the angles that is DAB and angle ABC and angle BCD and angle CDA is equal to 90 degrees so in order to prove this let us consider the two triangles that is triangle ABC and triangle ABD in triangle ABC and triangle ABD let us note down the similarities that is the both triangles are ABD and let us see that is triangle ABC in these both triangles AB is equal to AB since it is a common side and AC is equal to BD since he has given that diagonals are equal and also here BC is equal to AD as we got that ABCD is a rhombus so the three corresponding sides in the two triangles are equal therefore we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD and we know that when two triangles are congruent their corresponding angles and corresponding sides will be equal therefore we can say angle ABC is equal to angle BAD here the corresponding angles and we know that here AD will be parallel to BC as rhombus is a parallelogram in which all the sides are equal now by considering that AD is parallel to BC and AB as transversal we know that sum of angles lying on the same side of transversal interiorly is equal to 180 degrees we can say angle ABC plus angle BAD is equal to 180 degrees which implies angle ABC plus angle BAD we can replace it by angle ABC which is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle ABC plus angle ABC is nothing but 2 times angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees which implies angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees by 2 which is equal to 90 degrees so finally we can say that angle ABC is equal to angle BAD is equal to 90 degrees similarly we can prove that angle BAC is equal to angle ADC is equal to 90 degrees by considering the triangles BAC and ADC so here the angle between corresponding sides is 90 degrees here the angle between the adjacent sides is 90 degrees and all the sides are equal so we can say that ABCD is a square this is what the proof required for us